The Jacksonville Jaguars are at home this week hosting the San Francisco 49ers who can slap the line from the old guy trying to avoid the cart and holy grail on their locker room wall after coming up big last week. Jimmy Ward has two interceptions in the first quarter tonight. And that's a pick six. The mighty Rams rolled into town with OBJ and Vaughn, and the results were no different than the last four times they had met up. Another win for San Fran. Their most recent victory sparked by a defense that had no problem stopping Matthew Stafford. It is Jimmy Ward. Welcome back, Jimmy Ward, for the 49ers. Now that group rolls into Duval to take on Trevor Lawrence, whose first year in the league has been rough. His most recent outing, 162 yards, under five yards per attempt, rating under 60. Just couldn't come down once he hit the ground with that ball. And maybe he's a trilogy fan because that was the third game in a row he's averaged fewer than five yards per attempt third game in a row his completion percentage was under 60, and third game in a row his rating was sub-70. Lawrence throws across his body and it's incomplete. So maybe they should be running it more because their best offensive player is James Robinson. And James Robinson, straight downhill, shoulder square, no messing around. Plus, the 10 times the Rams ran on San Francisco, they averaged over five a carry, and San Francisco hasn't been stalwarts against the run for the season either. And Sean McVay saying, Kyle Shannon, you're not the only one that can use these wide receivers blocking in the run game. How about when they have the ball, though? The Jaguars draw Elijah Mitchell when the Niners run most of the time. Right now, given the Rams all kinds of fits, defensive linemen can't get off the block. And Jacksonville wasn't able to slow down the Jonathan Taylor train last week. Taylor picks up the first and more. Taylor stays on his feet. But to be fair, they have played the run well in 2021. And once that happens, that whole front side is abolished. What they hadn't been doing well for most of the season was stop the pass. But how about their last two games? Shutting down Josh Allen and then Carson Wentz. That coverage and the pressure combined puts Carson Wentz on the ground. It's helped that Josh Allen, the pass rushing one, has really stepped up his game there level. There it is! A sack! for Josh Allen against Josh Allen. Can he get into the face of Mr. G, though? The Niners' O-line was up against Aaron Donald, Leonard Floyd, and Von Miller, and the Rams end the game with one sack and one QB hit. you got to put that ball right on him and a great catch from George Kittle. Now, that was on just 19 pass attempts, but Garoppolo shined with the passes he made. Give Garoppolo credit for standing in there when he sees those two hunters coming down the pike on him. And the two guys on the other end of most of them are the ones you'd expect. You might need to hide your chain, wallet, and watch if you have them on right now. He has been in a rhythm tonight. He's made the plays that he needed under pressure, and Debo Samuel still dancing. They're up low to throw. Able to complete. It's George Kittle. Don't tell me this is a guaranteed W for anyone. Those do not exist in the 2021 NFL season. Drop your predictions into the comments section. We'll drop ours on the screen. I'm not dead yet.